So instead, let's turn from elections to erections again and welcome our resident doctor. Good evening. Who, together with our caring agony aunt, Anna Rabies... Hi. ...is here in the studio ready to answer your calls if you have any personal, emotional or sexual problems. So give us a ring now on this number. 0898654080. That number once again. 0800090000. Well, uh... <laughs> well, our first caller is on the line, I understand, and it's a Dorothy of Clapper Manor. Hello, Dottie. What's your particular personal problem? I wonder if you can help me, Anna. I'm really at the end of my tether. Well, that's what I'm here for, lovey. Far away. Well, it's my husband. He's having an affair with this other woman, you see, Anna. Dorothy, if I could just come in oh, here... Oh, do be quiet, for goodness sakes. Let her go on. Go on, let <laughs> Well, every time I try to talk to him about it, he starts threatening to walk out and leave me. I don't know what to do. Well, you must do the only thing you can do, lovey, and that's to go up to him and ask him quite openly if he's seeing another woman. And if he admits it, then you'll just have to face facts, lovey. And my advice to you in that situation would be to kill him. <laughs> Not at all, lovey. That's what we're here for. Next. Uh, hello, Anna. Hello, caller. How can I help you? Oh, well, I've been married for three years Yes, now. well, three years is a particularly... Oh, do shut period. up! For goodness sakes, let him go on! Go on, <laughs> Well, uh, my problem is that I'm impotent. Yep. Yep. Yep, you do have a problem, don't you? <laughs> Next. <laughs> It's about my boyfriend. Oh, the bastard! What's he done? Pardon? What's he done now? He, he wants to get engaged. Kill him! Blow his brains out! <laughs> no, I, I want to get engaged too. Well, marry him then. Sorry? Sleep with him. Marry him, then sleep with him. Nope. Sleep with him, then marry him. Premarital sex. You've got to come to terms with the fact you're a woman now. But I'm only 14. What? <laughs> we can't get engaged because we're both 14 and our parents won't allow it. Well, kill him! Kill them all! What? Sleep with them! Then kill them! pre patricidal sex! No! Kill them, then sleep with them! <laughs> Necrophilia, nothing wrong with it. You've got to come to terms with it sooner or later. We all have our own lives to live, and if that means having to murder mummy and daddy in cold blood, then we just have to face facts. I know it's not easy, <laughs> but then life never is. Thanks for your call, Doctor. Yes. Piss off! Next call on the line, I believe, is Beatrix from Hounslow. Hello, Anna. It's about my dog, Anna. Kill it! What? Look, you can't keep animals in this world if your marriage is on the rocks. But my marriage isn't on the rocks. I'm not even married. Well, what are you wasting my time for, then? Well, my dog's very ill. Well, kill it. But I love it. Well, marry it, then. What? Sleep with it. Look, one, you've got to come to terms with your abnormal sexuality sometime. Two, you must simply tell the dog that the relationship cannot exist unless you get your oats. Oh, you don't seem to understand, Anna. I understand perfectly, Caller. There's no need to feel ashamed about your abnormal sexual fantasies. I believe it can be very pleasurable for the dog, too. Thanks for your call. Yes, well, that's where I'm going to have to stop you for now, Anna. Thank God. As we're rapidly running out of time, Anna and the Doc will be back at the same time next week to answer your calls. So if you want to ring in with any personal problems then, I'd be amazed.